Right, the next bike is the BMW K1600 GT. Now, the key is in my pocket. So all I have to do is push this button and it lights up. Now this is a 1600cc six cylinder engine. Um, this is going to be special. It is, this is obviously a very heavy bike. Um, but I've ridden heavy bikes before and I assume that it must ride just absolutely, well, absolutely great. Most heavy bikes that I've ridden so far ooh, are very, you know, very nice to ride. That's nice. Oh, wow, this. Oh, that sound is very nice. The mirrors are kind of far away. It's got this um, adjustable screen in, in the electrically adjustable screen, which is very, very nice. Um, this should offer fairly good wind protection. Now, you've got this sound system here, so somewhere hidden inside this menu no i don't want heated grips i don't want heated seat wow it's got everything yeah look at this i've got an onboard computer like you get on a car can i go back oh, look at that that's how it works no seat heater it even tells you you're right here on the screen grips with many different settings so they're off now let's keep them off because it's fairly hot still have no feedback whether or not the uh, uh, these lights are working this is to turn off on and off the uh, normal riding lights we've got modes these are engine modes I suppose dynamic rain and road let's put it in dynamic A bit high though for me, but again, BMW usually offers uh, all sorts of uh, adjustable seats, so this should be a problem. Again, it's got an analog dash, but on this type of bike, that is to be expected. I've, I've rarely seen a digital uh, speedometer on this type of uh, on this this type of bike. Now I know there's a radio in here somewhere. So I kind of want to find it. No. Chronometer, why? Oh, average speed, no. Why can't I find the radio? We've got cruise control. Again, a, um, a, a hydraulic clutch. We've got four indicators. Mode. No, okay, so there's the, that's the riding mode. Let's put the screen down for now. This opens uh, with the other key uh, with a wireless system as well, and we are off.
I do not like this indicator. This is a really powerful bike. Oh my god. I don't know how many horsepower this thing's got. But wow, it just Whew. Yeah. This is a uh... If you want a touring bike, I'm thinking this is the one to have. If you can afford it, this is the one to have. I mean, I've ridden a couple before. And there's some very nice touring bikes out there. I, I mean, I very much like uh, the Trophy, the Triumph Trophy. Mm. Woo! Yeah, you can definitely feel the weight here. Oh, rustig, friend, rustig. Dynamic mode. Oh yeah, you can feel that. Getting a bit of a uh, buffeting here, so let's put up the electrically adjustable screen. And look at that. It's quiet. Though I am getting still getting a bit of buffeting at the on the back of my helmet. I can feel the wind just pushing on it. But it's oh, it's much better now. Though I have to say it's not as good as the screen on the trophy I uh, test rode a couple months back, I think about half a year ago. On that bike I could open up the screen to the top position, like this one is here, and I couldn't feel anything. There was no wind noise, there was nothing. Right here I'm still getting some, less than now. I'm still getting some, and I can feel the wind tugging at my helmet. dives so that gives you some feedback that's nice got a obviously I mean it's a touring bike so obviously it has a nice riding position yeah I'm I feel very comfortable here I feel like I could do many many miles on this bike without you know feeling tired or uh, uh, you know get, get, getting sore Engine-wise, this is probably the best touring bike that I've ridden so far. Uh, in terms of the wind protection, I would still go with the Trophy. Now, other things I can't really comment on, because I've ridden the other bikes in completely different conditions. 
which I can't do uh, right here today. I'll show you in a second. Handles nicely. Though you do kind of feel the weight. When you change direction, it kind of wants to boom, drop down like this. Second gear now, halfway through the rev range. Let's. That's nice. I mean, this isn't a racing bike, but that is nice. in here so let's lower the windscreen oh yeah that's better it's a lot more noise now but As was to be expected, this is a very, very smooth bike. <laughs> oh god, there's a, a creeper in here. Yeah, so as was to be expected, this was a very, very smooth bike. It, it just glides along the road. It's got more power than uh, you know what to do with. Um, it's very comfortable. And, yeah, I mean, it, it does exactly what you'd expect a six-cylinder engine to do. I mean, it's got no vibration, it's very smooth, it's got excellent power delivery, which is to be expected. Those are all just the qualities of a six-cylinder engine. A six-cylinder engine is just inherently uh, balanced compared to any and all other types of engines. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't see a six-cylinder bike very often, but uh, yeah, this thing rides great. If you go for a touring bike, if you're looking for, into a touring bike, be sure to consider this one. Go look at the trophy, because I, I still really like the trophy, but uh, do certainly consider this one. It, I think, um, yeah, this is an excellent bike. If you're serious about touring, then this is a, this is a very good choice. So, on to the next bike. I still do not like this indicator. <laughs> 